everyone and welcome back to a brand new video. So today's video guys is quite an exciting one. We're going to go through a little bit later all of my new in Christmas home decor bits. So I am beyond excited for this because tomorrow, tomorrow guys, is the Christmas switch over. So we're going to get rid of all of the autumn stuff box that up and go full out with our Christmas decorations. That will actually be in a separate video, but I'm so excited. Today, we are gonna go through all of my new bits. I'm gonna do some big, big unboxings, because I've got lots, actually. I was chatting to a couple of ladies in my, I think my Wednesday class, and saying, oh, I've been quite good. I haven't bought that much stuff. And then I went up and looked in the office and was like, oh, you, this is a big fat lie, Alicia. You've got so much Christmas stuff that you've bought. Gone a bit overboard this year, I feel, but, you know, new house, new Christmas decks, obviously. So, um, yes, I wanna go through all of that with you in a little bit, but I also first want to, well, I've just baked some mince pies, I'll just pop them in the oven, as you've just seen on the time-lapse. I've done um, the crumble top ones again because they went down an absolute storm last time, so I was really pleased with that. Although I did run out of mincemeat, so I've just popped some jam in the last few, so hopefully that works. I've no idea if it will or not, but we shall see. We shall see. Um, so yes, whilst they're in the oven, if I've got time, I want to start to box up all of the autumn decor, pop that away so that we've got a clean slate ready for tomorrow and for the festivities. So um, yeah, it's gonna be great, guys. I am so excited, I mean, Jamie and I, we are the perfect match, really, because we are both Christmas enthusiasts. Like, we are both lovers of Christmas, so um, it's a good job we found each other. So, yeah, very, very excited about that. But I'm going to grab a box. Um, I got Jamie to get one down out of the loft last night, so I'm going to grab that down from the office and start collecting up the autumn bits and bobs. Okay, I've just taken the garland down from off the radiator cover and just put one of the little ceramic pumpkins, pumpkins rather, in the bottom. And I'm gonna tackle this because I think this is going to be the one that's gonna take the longest. Now, the winter candles, I actually think I'm gonna keep hold of because they smell amazing. They basically smell like Christmas. Um, I just had them up for autumn. But um, yeah, I think I'm gonna keep hold of them or keep them out because I will use them somewhere in the house because they smell so good and it'd be such a shame not to use them. Mince pie time! Okay, I think that they've gone well. I've gone for the deeper one at this time. My mum gave me a bigger cutter, so it should be more filling in. Should be, hopefully, very tasty. And the jam ones look like they've worked as well, so yeah, we'll let these cool and we'll try them a little bit later. Smell amazing. Table is done. It's looking very bare. I haven't seen it bare like this in such a long time. It's such a lovely table though. So yes, table is done. Um, we'll now go out into, or no, we've got upstairs onto the landing. I've done the um, hallway bits already. So the box is getting rather full already, but um, I'm sure we'll have room for it all. The little pumpkin's going. I love these little pumpkins. They've made me so happy over the period of autumn. Um, I might have to, I'm not gonna put the box away yet because I might have to nick some batteries um, out of them. Now these are actually quite wintry as well, but I'm gonna pop them away and I can always get them back out if I decide I want to use them for the winter decor, but I think I've got enough. And my little autumn tree can go away. Now that looks very, very bare, just with some book pages on there. But we'll leave them there for the moment and it will be festive soon. Festive, festive, festive. And then last but not least, my beautiful, beautiful flowers in my market basket. I have got some gorgeous, gorgeous flowers. Well, I hope they're gorgeous. I've not unboxed them yet. I'm gonna do it with you in a minute. Some gorgeous flowers from, um, some winter flowers from Cowshed Interiors. So I'll show you those in a moment. Hopefully they are gonna be perfect in there. So just dump those in the box. And I think that is it. I'm pretty sure that is all the autumn decor. I'm gonna do a quick scan of the house, just to double check. But um, 
I think we're there. No, I haven't got any new festive decor at all. I don't know what you're talking about. Okay, let's do this. I've got a little helper. Oh, with me, haven't I? I'm sure you're gonna be sniffing around all of the stuff. Um, I have also just had one of my mince pies and I, I have nailed it. They are so bloody good, guys. Honestly, I'm so proud of myself. I really am. I've rolled my sleeves up because I am sweating. I'm so hot in this dress. Um, but it's so nice. Oh, it's Betty jogging the camera. Sorry. Um, but yeah, it's so nice and so kind of wintery that I wanted to wear it. So on this side of me, I have got stuff that I have already seen and unboxed because, well, a lot of it I actually bought in store. Um, and I've got this John Lewis, which I have unboxed just to check that it was okay. But the rest of it is new on this side. So I think I'm going to do the bits that I have already seen first and it will just build up the excitement to the bits that I haven't. So let's go with, so we went to the garden centre um, on Sunday last week and picked up a couple of bits. So I'll show you those bits first. I will do my best to link everything down below in the descri description box, guys. But um, I think especially some of the garden centre bits, I might not be able to. So I will do my best, but do check it out. So the first thing, I mean this, yeah, I might be able to find where this is from. But anyway, it was from Newbridge Garden Centre. But the first thing is this lovely dried fruit tree. And... You have no idea how good this smells. It smells like Christmas. And I just thought this was so, so sweet. And it's the perfect size to sit on one of the radiator covers. And it will just give off this beautiful scent as you walk in the house. Because I think I'm going to have it on the one literally in the hallway. So as you walk in, you'll just get this beautiful aroma of Christmas. So um, I really, really like that. It was quite expensive. This was the smaller size. I had one that was a bit bigger. This was £45. Um, and the bigger one was £60. So they're not cheap, but they are beautiful. And actually, this is timeless. It's never going to go out of style. I will bring it out year after year after year. So I think it was a good investment. So that's our first thing. Pop that down there. And then these are the other bits that we got from the garden centre. So as you know, I'm going for a full-on woodland theme. So I got three of these little birdies i thought that they were very sweet look at these little eyes very cute and just have a little like a touch of sparkle on so not too much because i don't really want too much sparkle this year so i've got three of those and i think i got five yeah five of these just to kind of thread into the tree so they're just sort of some grapes but um i thought that they were quite nice and i think that's all in that bag and then I also got just some kind of standard baubles, the light's reflecting off it, but they're all kind of bronzy and orangey, which will go perfectly in with the theme. So we picked those bits up from the garden centre. Then here in this bag, oh, these are lovely actually, and I think I might buy some for gifts for people because they are so gorgeous. This was from a local shop. Um, it was in Storrington, which isn't too far from us. Um, a little homeware shop, and they actually make these on site. And look how packaged they are. They're such a beautiful little gift. But um, they're basically just very nice basic pillar candles, but then they've got this really beautiful um, deer decoration on it, which I just, I love. I think it's great. So I got the white, and I got the smaller one which is almost in like a sagey greeny sort of quite a dark sagey green which I thought would go with the decor really nicely and then the third one was in this almost kind of coffee colouring there as well and the three together just look gorgeous the colours just really sort of complement each other they're lovely they're really really lovely so um Yes, they are for me, but I do want to go back and get some more for gifts because I think that they'd be a really nice little present for people. And then actually, in Sainsbury's, I picked up a, a couple of bits. Now, this was from um, Habitat, I believe, but Sainsbury's stock it. Didn't know that, but, um, but they do. I'm sure it was Habitat. Yes, it was. So I got, I mean, look at him. Look at him. So I got this beautiful, beautiful um, deer kind of antler thing with this gorgeous, gorgeous big um, 
cylinder on it so you can pop a really nice big pillar candle in it i'm actually wondering if the white company um winter candle that i had on the um on the dining table if that would fit nicely in there or whether that's a bit small actually i feel like i want one of the massive ones but um that's gorgeous i just thought it was very nice and kind of very much going in with our decor and in with our theme and then i just picked up two of these little robins i just thought they were cute and very nice kind of bronzy um and dark colorings i just yeah i thought that they were very nice they are candles but i won't burn them i'll just use them as little decor bits do you like my nails by the way guys i went for a festive red because you know we're doing the decoration very exciting okay right next up we have got the john lewis box just to quickly show you and then i think we're on to the new bits so john lewis now i picked up quite a quite a few bits in here now how many of these did i get five i think of these very cute little acorn um decorations i thought that they're really nice to hang from the tree so i've got five of those i got i mean because I needed more pine cones, I got some glittery pine cones. I liked these because they had the hanger bits on them already and I thought that was just gonna be handy. And with my theme, I kind of think pine cones, you're not gonna, you know, you can't have too many, so. And, oh, look at these! Little hedgehogs! I mean, are they not the cutest thing that you have ever seen? I just love them love them and will be yeah again perfect for our woodland theme and then last but not least from john lewis we got these really really lovely apple baubles and i just really liked them i thought that they were really nice they're not too big so actually they'd be perfect for kind of towards the top of the tree and they're kind of frosted in their appearance and i just I thought that they were very nice. I really, really liked them. So I think there's 12 in this box, which actually I think that they were quite reasonably priced for the you know fact that you got 12. It's 15 pounds for 12 of those, and I didn't think that was too bad at all. So that's my John Lewis bits. Now then, for the exciting bit. Well, exciting for me. Hopefully, it's all been exciting for you. Um, okay. Oh no, this one I have opened. So this is a. Well, I vaguely opened it just to see what it was. I think. This is from Etsy, from a company called Frank and Pig, and, um, and it is a table runner. So you know I love me a tab table runner. So I got a forest green one, so I thought that it would go quite nicely in with the theme. I'm not 100% sure I'm going to use a table runner, but I wanted to have one in case. And I did think that if not, this would be actually quite nice for a spring one anyway. So um, I'm pleased that I picked that up, and it wasn't expensive at all. So... Um, yeah, we will see where we go with that. Okay, let's do this big box, shall we? So this is from Cowshed Interiors. Took me about two days to get into it. And these are faux flowers in here. So I did start by quite a few. It's very well packaged, that's good. Hopefully they'll be, oh look, I mean, very, very well packaged with plenty of bubble wrap. I like that, <laughs> almost wrapped in like a bouquet. Okay, we're out, that took longer than expected. So I picked up some, oh it's, hold on, it's cable tied together. Very good packaging, a cow shed, I'm very impressed. There we go. Right, let's pop that there. Okay, so I picked up, how many of these? So two or three three okay three of these ones which have got really beautiful white berries on and a little white pine cones oh there you go that's the right way around to show you it so i picked up three of these sprigs i just thought that they were so pretty and so festive and my thoughts are to have all of these together actually into the market basket that's kind of what I was thinking when I bought them but they're lovely they'd be even really nice just threaded into the tree as well they're really beautiful and then I got two of these I think they're called teasel 
stems, I believe. Um, so I've seen these a lot. I've seen them out actually a lot when I'm driving. There's been there's been a lot of roadworks around my route into work and back again at the moment, and um, and I keep seeing these dried out along the side of the road, and I think that they're beautiful actually. So when I saw that Cowshed had these, I thought, ah, oh, I like those. I'm gonna I'm gonna get them, and they're gonna go quite nicely in with my other bits. So I've got two of these stems. And then I got three of these beauties. Hold on. Oh. Okay, three of these red berry stems. Look at that colour. They're actually, it's coming up a very bright, bright red on camera. They're actually slightly darker red than what they're showing at, but they are stunning. So, so beautiful and actually really nice because they can be moulded into position. They're not sort of wired too much, which is great. So, um, yeah, I got three of those, which will be very, very nice. So that was my cowshed interiors. Now I've got two things, or I've got two, yeah, two things, I believe, from Lights for Fun. You know I love Lights for Fun. I've got a lot of my autumn decor from there. Now, what is this? I don't know. <laughs> I think it's a tree. Yes, it is. Oh gosh, we're going to get white everywhere. Like everywhere. But, da 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 da! Oh, how gorgeous is that? I love it. I love the Hessian because that's a big theme for um, our tree today. Um, or oh, this year, rather. And okay, I'm literally getting white everywhere. It's snowing on my dress. Fantastic. But how lovely is that I thought that would be really nice again on the radiator cover perhaps maybe even on the tablescape or somewhere in the house there will be a surface that this belongs on so very pleased with that I think that's gorgeous I'm gonna actually put it in upside down I think oh yeah it's in so it's in okay and then the other thing from Light to Fun should be my garland hopefully which is going to go on the radiator cover I have my autumn one on the radiator cover at the bottom of the stairs in the hall but I do think I'm going to pop this one at the oh light fun customers 75 pound to spend on a case of delicious wine we'll keep hold of that what else have we got in here oh oh these I think are my oh what are these all this is my lights yeah that's my lights what's in here oh batteries yes i ordered some batteries i remember now so i've got some batteries in there to go for the lights okay let's get into the garland betty is slipping around the fake snow all over my lap don't eat that i've got a feeling it's not going to be good for you my darling right da, 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 da. i do love their garlands they do really really lovely ones it's Actually a little bit similar to the autumn one um, except it's got no pumpkins and instead it has got these beautiful white berries on and I just thought this would go look so lovely with the cowshed interior bits that it's just going to look very very nice so um, that's my garland I'm making such a mess that I'll show you when we're done it's literally like a bomb's gone up but um, never mind a nice one you know a nice Christmas bomb so, not there are ever nice bombs. Stop talking, Alicia. My last box is my Mrs. Alice box. Now, I think this is the box that I have been most excited about getting into, and it is the box that has been the hardest for me not to, to get into before today. So, um, I'm very excited. The only thing with is that, unfortunately, Mrs. Alice has been having some problems getting their... Um, their bits shipped over so I am waiting for I think another two bits but I'll just have to show you that when as and when they arrive I'm not sure how soon it's going to be but I'll just have to sort of slot them into the decor as and when it comes um I think you know especially homeware stuff they really seem to be struggling at the moment to get their stock in um a lot of a lot of places nearly smack myself in the head then um so yeah it's been a hard time for them all I think especially when they're relying on lots of Christmas customs so yeah not a deal right let's get into the box I love this website honestly oh look wishing you all the best for this festive season oh that's such a nice little card I love it when they do these little extra things lovely bit of Mrs Alice 
tissue paper there. Okay, we've got a lot of packaging here. Right. I don't know what one to do first. Let's just go for this one. Oh, guys, look. Every single item in here is beautifully packaged with ribbon. Oh, oh that's so lovely. Look at it. Oh, I'm going to keep this ribbon. I am 125 million percent keeping this ribbon because that's my kind of colour. That's my kind of colour. I'm going to put it there. Betty, do not eat that. Oh, Betty, she's a, you know, she's such a good dog. She's so well behaved. Okay, let's get into it. All right. I actually can't remember what this is. I did the order so long ago. It's a package in every way it comes. It's everywhere. Oh, these are lovely. Okay, yeah. So, these are... Oh, they're really lovely, aren't they? little Christmas trees so I got two of these it was two in like the pack I think get the other one out and I just I love the little wood bit here on the bottom how gorgeous is that and I just thought that they would be perfect and then the perfect size for a tablescape so that is going to be ideal they are gorgeous really gorgeous and so perfect for my woodland theme so very happy with that and then what else have we got in here? Let's go for this little one. Again, not even the little one. This beautiful bow on it. It's gorgeous. Gorgeous. <laughs> Honestly, I wish you could see Betty. She's like that. Sniffing everything. <laughs> yes, you are. You crazy little doggy. Stop jogging the camera, okay? It's very exciting, all this new stuff. Oh, okay, yeah. This is a... Beautiful, beautiful red bow. Now this is to go on the wreath, which I believe is in this um, packet here. So I'll open that in a moment, but how lovely is that? It's really beautiful velvet as well. Gorgeous, gorgeous. And let's get into this beautiful white ribbon on this one. Oh, I'm beyond impressed, Mrs. Alice. I really am, really am. So beautiful, some real time and effort has been taken into this packaging. I love that. Okay, that was very well packaged, but here we have, where's the top? Oh, I don't know if there is one particularly, but there we have that beautiful, beautiful wreath. How gorgeous is that? And I thought this would go on my dressing room. And then you can just, Betty, stop jogging the camera. You can just attach the bow, oh, to the bottom or to the top however you want it. What do we think, top or bottom? I quite like it on the bottom and the top. I don't know, we'll decide. But um, yeah, that's gorgeous. That's really, really lovely. And I thought this would be beautiful for on my dressing room door. That's what I had in my head for that. Right, we've got two more boxes. Nice brown ribbon for this one. Betty's growling at me. She wants to get to her toys. <laughs> Give me a sec. Oh. Right, brown ribbon for this one. Let's get into it. I'm dreading cleaning this up. Dreading it. Okay. I have no idea where my, oh, they're good. They're there. I was gonna say, I have no idea where my scissors are and I think I need them. But we're okay, we're in. There we go. Oh, I just, I can tell I'm gonna love it. I'm not even over. Oh! I'm sorry, I think only dogs heard that noise that just came out of my mouth, but holy moly, guacamole, look at him. Do you know what? Homeware stuff makes me so happy. Just look at him. A little wicker reindeer. Oh my God. I love him. And I'm pretty sure the other one is a matching one. I think they came as two. He's gorgeous. He's heavy. He's got some weight to him. You can tell this is good quality stuff. Oh. That is just beyond. Beyond. 
And then let's just double check. I'm sure that this is this because I'm sure that I got two of them. So let's just double check it. So I am still expecting some baby fawn, some baby reindeer um, from Mrs. Alice and some fake snow. I think that's the two that I am still waiting for. Sorry about the rustling of paper. Um, oh my goodness, this is such a mess. It's a good job Jamie's not here. He'd have a thinking panic attack at the sight of this. So um, it'll all be gone by the time he gets home. It's fine, it's fine. Oh, yeah, there we go. And this is reindeer number two. Oh. What should we call them? We need to have names for them, guys. Comment below the names of the reindeer. I know that we could do, you know, Dasha, Dancer, Prancer, Vixen, you know, whatever. But I feel like they should be different names. I don't know why. Look at them. You want me both? Oh, you want your toy? Hold on. There's your, there's your toy, darling girl. Go on, go, go, go. Oh, gosh, she's going to definitely destroy stuff. Right. I'm going to get this cleaned up because um, otherwise something's going to get broken and I really don't want that to happen because I am in love with all of this. I mean, just look at that mess. Bessie, just playing with her toy, toy in the middle of it. Uh, don't eat that, darling. Nope, not for you. I've just popped the bow on there. How beautiful does that look? Okay, so I've put everything that I have unboxed with you today, bar the white company candles, um, on the table. That's a lot of Christmas. So this section is for the Christmas tree and the rest of it is going to be tablescape and kind of home decor bits. I have got some more Christmas tree bits upstairs. If you remember a few vlogs ago, I've already done one unboxing with you um, and that was for mostly Christmas tree stuff. So I might go and bring that down so that I've got everything ready for tomorrow. Okay, it is all on the table. I'm gonna show it to you in a minute. I think I might have gone a bit overboard. This house is gonna be a tasteful, festive grotto. And I can't wait, I am here for it. So here for it. Okay, look at it all. This is all of this year's Christmas decorations. Now, I'm not gonna lie, there is some of last year's decorations in the loft that I was planning on using, so we will see how that goes. The only thing that I haven't got down is the ribbon, and that is in the loft, actually. Look at my huge pheasant. I'm thinking about popping him at the top of the tree. I think that might look quite cool, but um, yeah, lovely. Look at that festive beautifulness. Oh, it's making me so happy. Well then guys, I'm one sweaty mess after all of that. It's, it's quite warm in here. I think the heating might be on and it probably shouldn't be, but um, anyway, I am going to finish the video here because I think that I have got quite a lot of footage and basically that's all I wanted to do with you guys today. So I will be picking you up tomorrow because we are doing the Christmas changeover. So um, I am so, I mean, I might have mentioned that I'm quite excited. So yeah, very excited. So I will see you all tomorrow or for you guys, I will be posting the video on Wednesday. So do be sure to check that out because yeah, it will get you feeling all kinds of festive. I'm sure, I'm sure. If this video hasn't already, clearly then, you know, that video definitely will. So thank you for watching. I feel like I've got a bit delirious with the excitement, so um, I feel like I'm just babbling on now. So I'm going to shut up and I'm going to let you all go. Thank you for watching. <laughs> Have a great rest of your weekend and guys, I will see you all in the next video. If you enjoyed today's video, please do give it a thumbs up and yeah, don't forget to subscribe and I'll catch you all in the next one. Mwah. Bye.